And we're live. Quick live streams, everyone. See how many people come in. Want to go over some quick details on tomorrow's rod giveaway. So we have some people come in. Let me make sure this is nice and clean. Hope y'all can hear me. Give me a, give me a thumbs up. Make sure we're good. <clears throat> Hello, fishing with the squirrel. Thank you so much for coming in so quickly. Two people, two thumbs up. Greatly appreciate that. Y'all are awesome. Mesa, James Docker, tomorrow night. Tomorrow's the big night. Betty, thank you so much. Hope you're feeling a little bit better. You sounded better today. Um, I did watch less today than yesterday. I watched a little bit more of your live stream. You did awesome. I think when I was there, I think you were, you caught like, I don't know if it was three or four small ones, 18 people. <laughs> We're having people coming really, really quick. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all are awesome. Greatly appreciate the love. Jason, appreciate that. Uh, Pappy, Poppy, thank you so much. Guys, you're awesome. Um, this is a quick live stream. I noticed that um, Mr. Patriot didn't go live today and just want to go over the details on uh, the rod giveaway for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully these mosquitoes don't tear me up too bad. Diaz, thank you so much for coming in. I haven't seen you around. Thank you so much. Um, I try to see your videos when I can. Mr. Abbott, thank you so much. Give it just two more minutes and we're going to go really quickly about the rod giveaway. Show you what I've done new to the wagon. I've added some lights. I'm not sure if they're going to work out or not. Um, they're kind of like disco lights. We, we have a lot of um, DJ setup speakers and, and lights. And I was like, you know what? What else can I do um, to this setup? I'll show you all here in a quick second here. I want to go over the details, see if um, fishing with the Chad will come in or not. Let me see. I'm not fishing, guys. I am not fishing. I am in, in my backyard. So, um... Don't, don't be, hey, PD, thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate that. Paul Metal Cats, what's going on, Maurice? Here we go. We got everything coming in. And I'm sorry that, that YouTube throws that little quick, uh, I don't know if it's an ad or commercial, but I have to make a little bit of, a little bit of moolah somehow. Michael Murillo is a surprise to you. You didn't even know I was going to go live. <laughs> Mary, thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate the love and support, guys. Y'all are awesome. Um, all right, guys, really quickly. This rod right here. This rod right here. Just the rod, not the reel. Okay, um, it was given to me by um, Richard Ward. Is this backwards or is this right to y'all? I think this is right. It's by a tackle shop. It's called BJ's. And um, this was given to me by um, Richard Ward. And uh, he's, he, I'm gonna repeat myself. Some of y'all already heard this. Um, if y'all heard it already once, I do apologize. Um, he gave it to me. He says, try it out and see if you like it. Um, and I said, what, what, what would you like for me? Do you want to review? He said, no, no, no. This is just a gift to you. Check, try it out see if you like it um, if, if you don't like it or you know give it to one of your kids I was like you know what my kids have enough rods um, he says you can even give it away if you want so I will be giving this rod away tomorrow guys but you have to stay and listen to this because um, I don't want you to, to tune in tomorrow at 9 o'clock and you're gonna be hey Austin what where's the rod giveaway it's gonna be given away somewhere between 8 and 9 not on my channel um, I need someone to do me a favor and, and put um, fishing with the chat his link I will be giving this rod away tomorrow. Um, I did wrap it with high. Let me see how y'all can see. There you go. You can see the high reflected a little bit on the sides there. Um, it does have my wrapping, and I did paint these two sections here with a fluorescent orange. Uh, it was faded out like this right there, and um, I went ahead and touched it up, made it a little bit brighter. And um, this rod will be given away tomorrow. Big C, what's going on, Big C? Tomorrow, this rod will be given away. Not on my, not on my channel. I will be going live on my channel. There we go, th right there. Betty Jean, Betty Jean Cross just put uh, Fishing with the Chad, his channel. You have to be subscribed to that, that link right there. Tomorrow I'll be live. Thank you, Norm, for, for doing that. Appreciate that. I will be live on their show. Um, James Dockery and uh, Chad, they teamed together, <clears throat> and they've called it um, The Bait Shop or something like that, and they asked me to go on there, and I said, absolutely. I would love to be on their show tomorrow from 8 to 9. Um, which that's going to be um, Eastern time. I'm not sure what that would make your time zone. Um, I will be giving this this right away. Um, it's not like I said, guys. It's it's kind of a fun something like a tackle shop would sell. Look look at these weird, big old uh, eyes. Like I said, it's not it's not it's not a. Uh, I don't think it's a hugely expensive rod, but it was given to me. And um, if you would like to have it, just because I I have fish with it, I have I think we caught a small catfish, and it does have the high reflective tape all the way going up. And on the top, um, I did wrap it with the silver. So when you hit it with that flashlight from, from far away, it, reflect, it reflects crazy, crazy awesome right back at you. And it's got the, the lime. So this one, 
reflects the most, guys. That's the silver that's on those rods over there. The silver, and then it goes to the lime green. The lime green, it's, it's the one that this rod has right there. And then it goes from there, and then I switched it over to the orange. The orange, is, it's also um, there and on this rod. So once again, guys, uh, I did notice that Patriot didn't go live today. I hope he's doing okay. Um, not the reel. The reel is not included. It is a two-piece tomorrow. Fishing with the Chad. James Doc will be on there. We'll have a lot of fun. Um, all right, two more things. Two more things. Let me show you all uh, what I did into the wagon. Like I said, guys, this this might not work. It, it's just something that I've I want to try out tomorrow, and um, I was gonna kind of surprise and do it tomorrow, but I want to get a little feedback. Just say, you know, you know what else? And it, it's not it's not working. I mean, even though I'll, I'll I will take your your opinion. Thank you, Michael Murillo, for putting that that link. Please subscribe to the the link that Michael Murillo just put on there, because I will be on their show tomorrow. Once again, I want to thank everyone for coming in. Let me turn this around. Here we go, guys. We added this uh, three lights. I have I have more lights than that, but these lights will trigger when we make noise. But we have to be making some kind of noise for them to be going off. Of course, over there you won't have any anything on the back for it to bounce off of. But yeah, disco. I might start dancing if I hear the boats pass by with some really good music. But. I mean, this one has to have music. It's sound activated. This one I can act. I can I can activate it to just go. Yeah, just kind of stay on. Um, it has different settings, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think um, since I have the lights, I'm not sure if the battery will um, will put up with um, all that power we're drawing. We're drawing. We're drawing lots of lots of power. So, those who have never seen my setup, once again, there. Oh, let me turn on this light. Boom! There's the setup right there. And I did. Okay. Um, let me see here. So let me let me also show y'all where I've been keeping my eels. Um, I talked about. I have an outdoor fridge. Here's my little outdoor fridge. We were making cotton candy during the weekend. Mason loves cotton candy. <clears throat> so, um, this is, here's the air supply right here. And I had the little aerator way up there on top. There's the aerator. It's a little small one. I just kind of put it in there. I had put it here, but it was kind of vibrating just a little bit. Um, and let me show you my eels. Where I used to have beers, I replaced it with eels. No more, no more beers. Let me pull this out. I did, I did have to um, get a different stone. The stone that it came with, it quickly came off. And this one, this one is totally awesome. And it, it, you can see the bubbles it puts out. And I was looking. Let me see. I, I'm not sure if they're all alive or one of them, but I have several here. And it's so hard to to, to get these eels. So, hey, Mr. Lyle, thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate that. Guys, if I don't say directly hi to y'all, it's just that Mr. Lyle always catches my attention. Not, not that y'all don't, but um, we'll probably take one or two. I thought I, I thought one was dying, but what they do, guys, with it being so cold, they get kind of just like 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 in hybrid mode or something like that. Like, um, one is going backwards, but I think he's still alive, believe it or not. He turned over. So, they, these have been in here. Let me set this down for over a week and they're going strong. So that's my that's my setup right there. I have my eels, and once again, if you just tuning in, I do have the aerator up there. And this is what kind of freaked out my wife um, when I drilled this little small hole right on the side of the. Oh, I have all kinds of cords here, right there. I made a little hole, fed it, fed it in. 
it goes there. I kind of measured. And let me see if I can show you that. And it comes out right in that top corner, right back there. And it works for me. Guys, I truly appreciate y'all coming in. Y'all are super awesome. Um, once again, y'all can see what we're going to be trying tomorrow. Some disco lights. See if it's a, if it's a hit or not. And once again, this rod will be given away tomorrow. Um, I will be live on Fishing with the Chad. And just, just a little giveaway there. Something that I, uh, I did put my twist on there. I did paint those two sections and I did wrap it in some areas. Let me sit down and see if you have any questions. All right, guys, I'm here. <laughs> if you can use the you know, other bait, would you? Um, white perch. White perch. Um, if I can't get eel, it, it, it will be white perch. Um, if not white perch, whatever whatever the fish market uh, gets. Guys, I lost my sweat rag. I need my sweat rag. That'll make a mess here. Oh, here it is. Uh, guys, I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Just to kind of go over the details, make sure everyone understands I'll be giving that right away. And um, it will be tomorrow somewhere between 8 and 9. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. We haven't talked about that. If it's going to be pick a number. Um, hopefully, if, I mean, if there's enough, not too many people. If there's too many people, um, I don't know how far we can go back before we lose track of um, all the numbers. This is better. Have outside. Yes, absolutely. So this is my little fridge. I, I, I've had like a 12-pack in there. And like I said, um, I just, I just kind of stopped drinking. Um, now, now I'm not saying that I won't drink one. I just, I kind of lost interest. Plus, I lost a lot of weight, and I got motivated just to stop, stop drinking. That's awesome, guys. I really, greatly appreciate everyone coming in. Palmetto, Brooks, um, Mr. Lyle, Avid, um, Bass, LG, uh, Newton, uh, Arnold. Appreciate the love and support, guys. Y'all are awesome. Um, like I said, I will be on their show, and then after that, around nine o'clock. I'll go live on my show, see how, how it turns out. Yeah, the eels do really well in that roof ridge. They, they hold up really strong in there. What's up from husband and wife team? Well, hello, husband and wife team. That's awesome. That's totally awesome. Um, good, good. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, I hope that um, James, uh, Mr. Patriot is doing okay. Um, I kind of was waiting to see his show but he didn't go live and i was like well you know what let's let's try out these these lights once again they're they're back there spinning but that big one needs needs a little thump needs needs a little so they can change i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, oh storm is that patriot okay so he must he must have um oh maria's world what's going on maria so i, I hope you heard you heard the details but if you haven't We'll be giving away this rod here. It's it's just just a regular catfish rod. Not, nothing, nothing out of this world. Nothing special. But it, I did paint it. I did do my little twist. Um, I would be on uh, fishing with the chat on his, on his um, his channel tomorrow. It, the giveaway will be tomorrow. Thank you for filling in. Was, yeah, I just wanted to, to see what's going on. I kind of miss um, <clears throat> the shows. I won't be here too long. I don't. I'm sure my wife's gonna open the door and say, "Okay, go get something to eat." <clears throat> I'm from him. Bad storms. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. I was hoping you would fish tonight. Tomorrow night, I will be fishing tomorrow night. So once again, <clears throat> I will be on a, on a show, fishing with the chat. They team up with um, with Mr. Dockery. They're both a team. They get together. They do a show. It's called the Bay Shop. They asked me to be a guest on their show, and I, since I'm gonna be a guest, I'm gonna give away that rod. It was given to me once again by Richard Ward. And he says, you know what? Do whatever you want with it. I fished with it. I do enjoy it. I like it. Um, I believe we caught one fish on the last live stream, and we didn't even know he was hooked on there. Um, it was a small, a small one. He had probably been on there for for about an hour because I I, I did notice, and I said, <clears throat> you know what? This rod hasn't had a hasn't have a hasn't had a hit. Something's going on. And sure enough, when I brought it in, it had a small catfish. And if it is, you're showing how you paint your rods. Um, yeah, there's there's a couple. Just kind of me quickly going over using a, a primer um the primer that i've been last using is the zinzer one two three the water base well you better light it up <clears throat> yeah. um yeah, zinzer one two three you can find everything at home depot um it's a spray can and it's a water base 
um, I have tried oil base. Oil base works really, really good, but you have to let the oil base dry really, really good because if you don't let it dry completely, you start giving it fluorescent paint. Um, it's gonna look really, really nice, but as the oil base goes drying underneath, it will crack um, your fluorescent paint. Believe it or not, some of my yellow rods that are inside, they're cracked really, 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 really bad. Uh, most of y'all can't see them, um, but I have showed the camera. Look, look how bad they're cracked. I mean, I don't like to, I don't try to hide anything. To me, I just, it is what it is. It's, it's the truth. Um, yeah, oh, so, so, so primer, fluorescent paint, and then you want to use a clear coat. Um, I have tried using the water-based clear coats. They don't work as well as the oil base. You have to use oil base. Oil base. Um, the only bad thing about oil base, it will change the color after a year or so or a couple of years, but they're still fluorescent. And just keep this in mind. Don't think you're going to get away with like two or three or four coats of fluorescent paint. I mean, it takes lots and lots of coats. I kid you not. My rods that are painted have minimum, minimum 10, 10 coats. Um, and even I like to give them 15 coats. But keep this in mind. By the time you start painting the top and you get to the bottom, and it's a, it's it's somewhat. It doesn't have to be really really hot, but if it's a, if it's sunny day and it's a little warm, it dries very fast. I mean, you can record it within ten minutes. You have the coolest looking set. I appreciate that. I do a lot of work on on um on on getting here. I mean, to be honest, I don't like the attention on me. I like it better on the rods. But that's that's the setup. Um, and it's always it's it's always kind of hard on me on which rods I want to take out, but I do love that that big one there, that big rod. That's the Whisker Seeker nine and a half, heavy medium action, and it's got that new reel that I really like. Uh, and then you can't go you can't go wrong using Whisker Seekers, <clears throat> but I have some other ones that are in my workshop that are painted. Thank you, James uh, Dockery. Guys, what James just put, you have to hit that link. I will be on their show tomorrow between eight and nine, and we will give away the green rod. Um, that will be given away and we will be trying this These lights, I think where I where I fish at it's not enough where there's a lot of cars passing by um, I hope that the cars will trigger those lights But we'll see I mean whatever Maybe I'm just going overboard. Um, I do run. Let me show you. I have a black light sitting behind where I sit So there's one light Then I have two other lights right there two more black lights. Yeah, I believe these are 30 watts and then I have this one down there shooting upwards. The, uh, airplane. Yes, the air, airplanes will absolutely, you're 100% right. But you can see how that high reflective tape. You see the one, this one I'm gonna give away, it's got the silver on top. Uh, let me see, turn off this light. So that's how it looks guys with, you know, people think that high, refle high reflective tape, in, anyone and everyone can see it, well, the high reflective tape only reflects right back. There he is, Mr. Richard Ward. He's the one who donated the rod to us. Um, so if y'all want to say thank you to him for the opportunity to win that rod, that's totally awesome. So this is how just adding the light, it bounces right back to the camera. Boom. Look at that. There's the setup. And once again, I wish this light would stay on, but it doesn't. That, that shoots a really nice beam, and it shoots it really, really far. I mean, you can see the trees way over there, how it hits the workshop. The chunky bling, yes, exactly right. It has the chunky bling. Crazy cats fishing. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate that. Let me turn this back around. Um, I did show off my eels, my little fridge. I have, I think I still have like six or seven eels still in there. Um, the two bait uh, bait shops. Well, not they're not bait shops. They're um, seafood markets or whatever. Um, they've been really, they've been having a hard time. I subscribed. Yes. Well, that's one of the things you have to be subscribed to them. Ah, oh, they do look great. No fish, no, no fish tomorrow night. So I'll be fishing during the show. While I'm on their show, I'll be fishing during the show. And then at 9 o'clock, you know, whenever the show's over, I'll go live on, on my on my end. But if you want to have the chance to win that rod, once again, I know you, you keep hearing me replace, uh, um, repeat this. That rod will be given away on Fishing with the Chat and James Dockery. They both team up. But I believe, Mr. Kentucky, how's it going, Mr. Kentucky? I lost my sweat right one more time. <laughs> Woo! Thanks so much for coming in, Mr. Kentucky. And I'm sure Mr. Justin, a fishing fetish, he's here in the background. I do that sometimes, guys. I'll go to a live stream and I'll just hand back. I'm just, sometimes I don't want to say hello because then, not that I don't want to, but it takes me forever trying to say hello to 40, 50 people. But y'all know I love everyone. <clears throat> 
Outdoors, thanks so much. Mary, there you go, Kentucky. There you go. 40 people. You, <laughs> you just got going. Woo. Can I sub to those? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Mr. Lyle, wow. <clears throat> Yeah, so um, once again, those eels are doing awesome in that little fridge. I mean, that coldness just really keeps them just chilled out. And I saw it on, there's, there's not a lot of videos out there talking about eels and how long they can live, but they can live a long, long time, long time. I mean, people even say months. <clears throat> I love you guys. Yes, I know you do. We all love each other. That's totally awesome. Love it. I'm fishing. Well, are you going to go live, Mr. Kentucky? Because <laughs> that's it. I'm done. Go live. Go for it. Let me know if you're gonna go live. I just um, was trying to fill in the spot. Uh, I just heard word that uh, Mr. Patriot James is having uh, bad bad weather, and I'm sure he's having bad internet connection. Jim, you better go live after all that. Yes, yeah. If y'all are ready to watch Mr. Kentucky, go for it. By all means, um, we fish in driveway. <laughs> no, I'm not fishing in the driveway. No, this is my this is my this is not not the driveway. This is my back my backyard. Oh, there he is, fishing with the Chad. Right there, guys. Once again, I will be on his show. Him and uh, James Dockery team up. Uh, let me know, Kentucky. Fixing to leave. I'm getting. <laughs> so you're leaving. You're not going live. Come on. What's going on? <clears throat> three. Number three is three bouncing. <laughs> We're not fishing, guys. This is a. Uh, this is my backyard. And there's the new lights. What we're gonna be trying out. We'll see what happens. Sorry, I was working. No, no, no problem. No problem. Didn't see the alert. That's okay. That's that's all right. We'll just make sure you don't miss tomorrow's show, cause <laughs> cause I I'll, I'll be there. <clears throat> You're gonna need some serious balance. Oh, I got it. Trust me, Palmetto. I have a four pack in there. I'm ready. Not that I'm gonna drink all four, but <laughs> I'm ready for for a couple of fishing trips at at least. Mr. John, thank you so much. Patrick, three. Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> no, I don't want to drink that many bounce juice. I think one should do it enough. We should have pretty good weather. Believe it or not, right now we're low humidity. Um, I think tomorrow's supposed to be around the same. The only thing bad about tomorrow, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm on someone else's show, I can't use my mic. So the sound um, it should hopefully be decent. Um, we'll see. Are you fishing tomorrow? Yes, I am. Tomorrow night. I will be fishing. I will be fishing during... When I'll be, I'm going to be right there fishing with the chat. I'm going to be on his show for an hour. We're going to give away this green rod right there on his show. And then I'll continue fishing on my show. I'm just blown away, guys. How many, um, how many views, the, the, how, you know, the channel's just growing. It's growing and growing, guys. It's, 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 it's crazy. For me, it's, it's, I'm honored. I'm honored because all of y'all have helped me get there. Okay, cool, Chunky. Thank you. Yes. So you just heard about the giveaway. That's, that's the giveaway. You, I'm, I'm not going to give away on my, on my, on my show it's gonna be on on the show uh, fishing with the chat yeah we need music all right guys so if y'all once again I know we have people in and out really quickly I did make this board and mounted some lights I have different lights but I think this would be pretty cool but the only thing about this one you need to have you know me being loud enough I, I'm sure I'll be able to trigger it see how that looks let me try out the Yeah, that, it just keeps turning off, this one here. This one's also sound activated, but I just kind of left it on. Fishing, I just, my first catfish last night, and eight. Good for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I hope it's a, it was a smaller one, but like like someone said, you know what, it, you caught it, your fish, you do what you want with it. Um, but yes, if you're in an area where you can, uh, let me turn this light back on, right? Where you can eat this fish, go for it. Um, I've had I've had catfish nuggets are really good. Betty, how are you doing? Yeah, I hope she's doing better. Oh, you can see my net in my workshop. There's my net. And I don't know what else is back over there. It's probably some other rod or something. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. All right. Last time about the eels. There's my little aerator up there. I have a little aerator keeping my uh, eels alive. I ran it down um, through there. I made a hole on the side of the fridge right there. And sorry guys, sorry, sorry for bumping you around. 
so check out these eels these eels have been in, in here for for over a week and i mean they're just strong with that one of them to, tomorrow will be catching some big catfish hopefully hopefully that's that's the plan and you can see how i, I bought this air stone that puts out a lot more bubbles because if there's no bubbles, those eels will die pretty quickly. All right, guys, give me a second. Let me put this back in there. Sometimes, so, sometimes I take two two eels with me, and I only I only end up using one, and the other one will end up dying because I don't take an aerator with me. So. Here's the dead ones, but these will be staying for when I completely can't can't get no more eels. So I freeze them. I don't vacuum. I just put them in Ziploc bags, and that's good enough for me. Guys, y'all are totally awesome. I really appreciate almost 60 people just checking out the eels. And once again, fishing with the Chad. Mr. Chad, can you put your link one more time? This rod. This rod right here will be given away on his, uh, I'm going to be a guest. It's going to be an awesome show. I'll be fishing live. I mean, that's the plan. I hope it all works out the plan. <laughs> Michael Marilla, thank you, Michael Marilla, for putting that link. Guys, hit the link right there. Michael Marilla just put uh, fishing with the chat. I'm sure that's uh, Chad's a link. We are LG Bass. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I know I know we won't have the views and the people coming in like crazy. We're not fishing. We're just in my backyard. <clears throat> you want to you want to see where I ended up busting my I think I think I ended up. I'll show you real quick. All right. So this basketball court, we did it. I don't know. I'm going to say about eight years ago and I have done different paints and I did all the measurements and the lines and the green. It's starting to flake and crack, so I was gonna start to repaint it, but I said, let me start with the red. So I was down on my knees about two and a half months ago, um, retaping the lines, and I did the white, and then I did the, the red, and I already did part of the green just so I can roll up to it, but I'm not going down on my knees anytime soon. I can just, that's my, that's, I think either I did it there, or I was, I did it in a swimming pool, swimming with, uh, with Mason. We usually try to get a bigger pool than that, but that was all we can find. Man, you try to find a pool right now, and it, it is nearly impossible. <clears throat> and it took a long time, guys, to get these measurements to do the right um, free throw. So believe it or not, the actual free throw line, the, in other words, the 15 feet, is right there. It's the three-point line. But it, it, not that I'm good at math, but man, it took me a long time, like, like a day and a half, trying to figure out how I can make this work out so we can practice actual free throws. So in other words, that's a baby free throw. There's the hoop right there. So the actual the actual free throw line is right there. But I do eventually have to finish painting the green and the white again. I don't look forward to it. I think that's where I ended up busting up my knee. tomorrow he is up on the show doing yes yes i will continue fishing in on my show after after their show after their show is over i will go live and uh hopefully be able to to bring in quite a bit I, I was blown away i think we had like 270 people up to 270 people watching on my last live stream fishing it was it was crazy awesome i can't believe it i, I thank every single one of y'all for making that number happen truly do y'all are awesome and amazing Thank you. How's your knee out? <laughs> you know what? I have, in the last two or three days, it's, it's been better, but I don't know if it's all the damn medication I'm taking, so I, I don't know. I guess in pain-wise, it's doing better. Tommy Tech Outdoors, thanks so much for coming in. I just finished watching um, your video. You were trying to catch snake snakeheads, and you almost had one. Man, that was awesome. You slowed the video down with, the, with your editing skills, jumping out of the water. That was awesome. Nice short video. I enjoyed that one. Not that I don't, I don't enjoy your other ones, but I don't have a, a Hobie, a Hobie kayak. So, <laughs> hey, Chuck, what's going on? Well, what's going on, Mr. Mike? Thank you so much for coming in. 
Once again, guys, we're not fishing. I'm in my backyard just going over to the, the what's going on tomorrow. Um, oh, let me just show you one more. Last time, last time. We're trying to do something kind of cool and fun with uh, disco lights. Like I said, I, I did mount that there. Um, anyways. See, the helicopter's passing by and it's, I don't think it's gonna trigger it. Nope, it's not. All right. Nice, yeah, I just try something. I, I, I like to, to, to think different. I do things different, I fish different, so. And I think it's working out. <laughs> Woo! Chunky gonna have a party. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm expecting. To are you in, in? Are you a DJ? Well, believe it or not, I have lots of DJ equipment. Um, I have um, two QSC. Y'all are saying, what is a QSC? Look it up. It's a professional DJ speakers. I have uh, two QSC K12s, um, first generation, not the second generation. Then I have um, uh, one a K, is it a K181, which is a subwoofer, 18 inch DJ stuff, man. It's, I, I, we used to have some pretty crazy parties here at the house. Um, I've, I've lent my stuff out to my son's school elementary for dance night, movie night, and um, when we used to go to church, um, lend it out. So, all good. <clears throat> All right, guys, I don't think I'm going to be here on much longer. My wife's already sneaking into the door. Probably tell me, are you going to go get some food? DJ Chunky. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't. I could not stand and talk in a mic. I mean, like I said, my, I, I'm a type of person. I like to try the distraction away from me. I just. No, I, I stutter and stumble way too much in my speech. And I, I, sometimes I go back and I try to listen to myself like, Elson, what are you trying to say? I can't. I don't even understand myself, much less someone else. She going to have a bigger <laughs> no, I don't want to go any bigger than this. I think I'm pretty happy with this one. Oh, I did I did also one last thing. So I did last thing I worked on. Let me show you one. one. All right. I want to have these uh, fishing rods um, and I already put it on, believe it or not. Hold on. Right. Boom. Um, these rods, depending where I'm fishing, sometimes they're kind of laying just a little bit too much. So I, I added this foam this foam right here just so it would push it out more this way have the, the rods further standing up um, sometimes my wagon is an incline which which makes my rods lay down too much I think having the rods more straight up and down we can have a bigger takedown so I mean that's that's the plan I mean I'm always trying to do something different and and add and improve the wagon um, it, it is um, the stitching is kind of busting on that side but I mean eventually I'll get out of the wagon but it's gonna be identical to this I'll, I don't want nothing bigger Oh, believe it or not, I do have a bigger wagon. And guys, and I mistreat this wagon so bad. Check it out. Y'all are going to say, what is that wagon doing there? Everyone's going to like, use that one. Check it out. There, this, this wagon, guys, I must, I've, I've had it. Look at that. Look how I mistreat it. That's a jetty wagon right there. And that, that one already has rod holders all the way around. Yeah, I just have wood on there. Just sit on there. No, but I, I this one this one I can't I can't break down. And it's all aluminum. I mean I've had it, I don't want to lie, maybe 10 years, probably more than 10 years. Just moving, just just and this one did have um where I can cut bait, but I lost it. One time I tried to add a light right there, but no, this one's just too big. It, is, it doesn't collapse. Aluminum. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. What did I say? Galvanized? Probably said steel, knowing me. I always say everything backwards. I've, I've, I've gone back and heard my videos, guys, and, and I'll say, uh, what do I say? Uh, ugly Sticks, G uh, what? no, no, wait a minute. Whisker Seeker GX2s, that's what I say. I call these uh, Whisker Seeker GX2s. That, that's, yeah, I, I'll stick to this wagon. I love this one. Let me set this back. Say thank you so much for coming in. Good night. See if you have. I'm sure. I, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't keep up with questions tonight. 
sometimes I talk too much. Well, I, I always talk too much. You can get live bait online. I'm having a hard time getting it local. Live bait? Hmm. I heard you, um, Catfish Bill 66, there was a, a, a shop or a bait shop that would ship shad and stuff like that. They would put in a special cooler with dry ice. Um, but you had to order $100 worth. I forget what that company was called. Um, I just didn't want to place a $100 order because, I mean, that's a lot of bait. I mean, but I didn't know you could do that. So I do it like, once again, I'm not going to show it. I don't think no one wants to see it again. But I just finished showing my eels where I have them stored. Guys, the, the, the brighter the light is, the reflective table bounced back. So I have my front-facing light low. Let me see here. And the more, the more brighter it gets, the more that tape reflects back to it. But, of course, no one wants to see me like this. I mean, at least I don't want to see myself like that. Well, I need to get ready for tomorrow. Look at that. I'll be, uh, trust me, guys. I'll be cleaned up. I'm not going <laughs> to... Uh, you can get live bait online if you're willing to pay extra for it. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, you are getting some pain relief. <clears throat> yeah, I got, I got, I got some, some pretty strong medicine. I don't like to take it. It's um, not oxy... It's oxycodone, I think it is. Codeine. It's, it's different. It's not that other one that y'all are probably thinking about. Um, but sometimes I take one just because I can't take it, but I don't want to take too much of that. I would rather stick with uh, Tylenol or, or, or aspirin, if that's, if that's what you're asking. Um, that's right. Here's the low right. <laughs> Elston, uh, just fix your hair. <laughs> fix my hair. You want me to brush it this way, or you want me to part it like this? <laughs> All right, mister, I'll fix my hair. <laughs> From a little bit to nothing tomorrow, I'll be gone. <laughs> Oh, guys, I love y'all. Y'all are awesome and amazing. Gee, it's going to be a good night tomorrow. <clears throat> Mr. James Dockery, uh, he called me several weeks ago. I was like, Elston, we want someone who can take the heat and can bring it. I'm like, I don't know. I have way too much respect for y'all. But, I mean, I can only have someone poke me so far. And I can only take, take so much. So, once you hit that spot, watch out. <laughs> I'm just warning you. <laughs> it's all good. I'm ready for tomorrow. <clears throat> What's up? Well, hello right back at you. Oh, guys. Well, I'm glad I, I was able to fill in t today. I hope Mr. James Patriots uh, is okay. <clears throat> okay, gotta get ready for work. See y'all tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Once again, I'm sure you already heard, but I will be on, um, on Fishing with the Chad on their show from 8 to 9. That's when I'm going to give this right away. Well, I'm sure they'll give it away somehow. I don't know how they want to do it, depending on how many people are there. Um, I wanted to do a, a giveaway on my, just just some kind of rigs. Guys, if you want some rigs for me, I know uh, I just put my order to Dell's Tackle earlier this week. I haven't received it yet, so as soon as I get it, I'm sending that stuff out. Probably be early next week. I do apologize. Like I said, I did warn you. Sometimes it takes me two weeks. Um, I just, I so, to, so today, guys, I, in, in my workshop, I, I had picked up a, a, a Mercury outboard motor. It was a 1978, I believe it was. It was an, I guess it's a vintage or antique, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was a 7.5 horsepower, beautiful, one owner. Um, the man, the old man sold it to me for $100 and I had it in my shed for a long, long time. And I started finally cleaning my shed out a little bit and um, I put on offer up and I just finished selling it for 350 bucks. So I'm glad I got some, something out of it. I'm just trying to figure out what rods I'm gonna get just to try more rods. <clears throat> I don't think I really need any, any rods, guys. Here's the thing is when you're happy with something, I think you should just stop and I'll be honest, I mean, I, I'm just crazy happy with, with what I have, um, but it's just that itch that you want to go and get something else just to go and try it out. Looking like you can't fish for a basketball <laughs> uh, I, I Yeah, I, I'm not a good basketball player. I put that for the kids just for have fun. And at one time, you know, I, I, I have outdoor speakers. I even put a subwoofer out here. So when we do decide to come out here, we like to jam out. I mean, I'm going to, that thing is, that's, it's basing. I love music. I love crisp music. Kids will come back. Uh, disco party. <laughs> yes, <clears throat> that's the plan. We'll see. Yeah, you can see once again the lights that I've I've added. Uh, let me bounce this one. So when you hit it with bass activated, it changes changes color and it keeps it going. And that beam is awesome. It shoots a really strong beam. 
Um, I have other lights, but let me just see if this is gonna work or not. Um, I even I even ordered. I was talking to Michael Murillo. I think it was Sunday, and I was like, Michael, I'm having a hard time how to trigger these lights. And you're not gonna even believe the length that I went to, guys. I even bought a baby, not a monitor, a, a baby crib vibrator. Something that you hook on a baby's crib and it kind of shakes the, the crib and it would trigger the lights. So I returned it back. So that's just what I do to see what I can do to improve the show. I don't, I mean, I mean some people say, just leave it alone. You know, I think the show's just fine. I think it is too, but I'm just try, trying to do, improve it just slightly better if we can. And it, it might not work. <clears throat> When D and I get in <laughs> Yes, we'll play one on one. Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, we, we used to have some back then when I would drink Modelos or Coronas back here. Have a good time. I love, love yes, I love music too. My truck, um, it, 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 it says it comes with some really nice surround sound speakers. It's got, it's a B&O, I think. Um, yeah, B&O, the Ford F-150 is a, when you buy the better grade truck. But it comes with like a really cheap. How do you enter the giveaway? Good question. Anyways, I'll, let me finish my um, my story real quick. So it, my truck comes with a subwoofer, but it's a factory subwoofer. No, trust me. I want to add more, but I don't want. I, I've waited for my regular warranty to expire, then I'll I'll do something more to my truck. Uh, okay. So once again, guys, who wants to do the link? But please put fishing with the chat or Chad's link. Someone's about to put a link up here, and when I say to hit that link, you gotta hit it. Be subscribed. But hopefully you're gonna to want to stick around. If you're just gonna hit the link and take off, then they don't even hit the link. <clears throat> there he goes, right there. Fishing with the Chad. I'm gonna be on his show tomorrow, from eight to nine. During this show, I will give away this rod right here. We're gonna find a way how to give it away to someone. Oh man, you're so awesome. I appreciate that. Hey Chucky, do you on the Um, I've got a joints point. If that's the one that's directly right underneath, I believe that's 495. Um, I've been there just to go look like two or three times. It looks like a good area, but people complain that they get snagged up a lot there. Um, but I believe if you if you at least use a Sandy Cooper rig, um, you should suspend your bait up higher. But um, I've seen some good pictures on on, on um, Fish Brain, some good ones pulled out there. And believe it or not, I spoke to the biologist and she said, the biologist says that when they were shocking the fish around that area, blue catfish galore. I mean, just tons and tons and tons of fish. You're very welcome. So I hope that you're going to stick around and, and watch some of our videos. So you're welcome. Thank you so much. Like I said, it's this, uh, yep, under the woods. Yes, yes. Yep, it's a good area. I've seen some big fish pulled from there. Uh, Luke from Catfish and Carp did a video there. Um, I think he was striper fishing. He even got in, a, in his Walmart kayak trying to take those baits out there. Um, I know the tide does rush a little bit stronger in that area. Gets snagged a lot, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm hoping that my, um, let's see, uh, I'm very close. Absolutely. I will fish with anyone and everyone after the pandemic's over, trust me. And I'm even planning, I haven't told my wife, but I'm sure she'll agree, is to do like a big meet and greet where we can all go fish for a few hours down by the tidal basin or joints point, come back here, have some hot dogs, hamburgers, some steaks, and we'll have a good time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, if you don't wear a mask, I respect that, I do. So I've said that several times. And sometimes when I'm fishing, of course, I'm live on YouTube. I don't have, and some people want to get too close to me. And I'm like, oh, I get scared. But that's because I'm, whatever, just scared. <laughs> just because I'm scared. <laughs> one, 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 one. Which one? This one? This is one. <laughs> this rod, guys. Well, I'll be giving this rod away. Um, this is the, the natural color of the rod. I did not paint it. The only thing I did paint was the orange section. But it was already orange, but it was faded like this, right, right? here um, and I was like no I could do better than that so I did paint this section I taped it off so once again it does have my paint it does have my wrapping I even put silver up here when that light hits it and this silver reflects just like that one right the same tape that's right there on that other whisker seekers thank you so much for that super chat that's awesome Pre really appreciate that so when definitely I need as a matter of fact today I tried something and I don't think it worked 
I was trying glow in the dark, uh, glow in the dark paint. I gave uh, my old um, stick, in other words, the net, the net stick or net, net pole, ten coats of fluorescent uh, of um, can't even think, guys. My, my I'm t tongue twist of uh, glow in the dark paint, and I'm gonna go get it and see if it worked, but I don't think it did. Hey, DMB, what's going on, my man? Guys, if you want to see an excellent YouTuber who goes live, I mean, if you enjoy my show, trust me, you'll enjoy his show. Uh, he catches flatheads sometimes. He's awesome. He does a lot of live bait. Check out his, someone, uh, DMV, if you want to grab your link, that would be awesome. Chunky, Wendy, DC uh, Oh, you're asking if you need a DC fishing license? Yes. And you can get it on online. It's, it's only like $14 out of state and in state well, in other words i know it's not a state but in whatever the count uh, the district it's only one dollar less and trust me guys it's it's the most affordable fishing um fishing license that's out there for the amount of fish that you could potentially catch if you have good good bait that's number one you can all you need is decent line and good bait guys these three rods i'll be using tomorrow have brand new fishing line have big gain i finally upped my game to 25 pound test line i didn't want to do it but I was afraid it, to hook it onto a big one and potentially losing it because you've noticed that those who watch my videos fishing that ledge when we throw far enough out there I can feel debris and rocks and then I've even showed y'all the line being all frayed up um, so these three will have 15 pound plus it, it will be you'll be able to see the line a little bit better too higher visible did he put his link I guess he didn't want to put some people don't want to they don't like putting their own links What's happening? What's going on, Mr. Gadget? Thank you so much for coming in, Mr. Gadget. <laughs> Mr. Gadget, I spent 60 bucks just for you. and You're going to say, huh? <laughs> Let me explain. You were saying the last time, and I don't know if, I, if you heard me correctly. I know we're having a lot of fish bites. You were saying that you couldn't take the noise. I, guys, you all know this. I get really excited when the, and I'll be like yelling, fish on, fish on, fish on, or whatever, and I'll be yelling. And he said, here's part of the, what I did. Um, I'm, I'm um, charging my phone, so I have, a, I have a splitter, charging my phone, and then I'm also using it for my mic, but it had, it had a dongle, so what I did is I took away the dongle, and I got another from, from Apple, I was like, no, you know what, it wasn't a complaint, it was just making me aware of it, and I did notice it driving in my truck, when you have Bluetooth or in stereo, it was, it was um, staticky, so I hope that's going to improve the sound. Number two is that um, my charger where it goes inside my phone I noticed that it was dirty so maybe I didn't need all spend 60 bucks from the Apple store um, it, it, I just had to clean it out so anyways I hope that the sounds better and I'm not gonna blow your eardrums tomorrow so I do apologize if I did but I did try to improve the quality a little bit better sounds great all right we'll find out tomorrow when I start dancing and, and jumping once again if you just tuning in guys we're gonna be trying some some disco lights tomorrow lights here this one i had sound active but i just left it on this one you need to have you need someone needs to drop the bass for it to to go off we'll see if that's a hit or not we'll find out the only thing is tomorrow that light it, it won't be bouncing off any kind of walls it's just going to be going out into space maybe it'll hit the white the, the white house that'd be awesome like trump's like hey who's out there <laughs> it's me <laughs> can't wait to see the <laughs> We'll see. I need some music. I'm not going to dance. Palmetto one time says, do the walk like Egyptian. And I was like, how can you just walk like, and I, you know, anyways, we'll see. We'll see how it gets tomorrow. Uh, let's see. What did Murillo do? Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, guys, uh, Michael Murillo just put a link. If, if you want to see some awesome uh, live fishing from the bank, he does an outstanding job. He did the longest live stream I've ever seen. Nine and a half hours. That was awesome. I couldn't take it. I fell asleep around 1230 that night. He did. He was nice enough to tell me the following day what, what, what the total number was. That was awesome. Greatly appreciate you doing that. You better be careful in DC with this. <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> it's all good. Secret Service loves me out there. I always yell at them anyways. I mean, just to encourage. You know, I'm <laughs> not against them. Encouraging them. Love Secret Service. Uh, I was there for oh my. Were you really Smith for there for nine hours? That's I was I was really tired that day. Once again, I'm taking these medications. Just they put me down. 
Oh, Secret Service is going to be feeding you down. Yes, they will. <clears throat> Better have those. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good thing. Looking for some bell bottoms. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello for coming in. Appreciate that. Uh, I, I think it's... I don't want to even pronounce your name. I'll mess it up. How's the need doing? Believe it or not, uh, the last three days have been good. But like I said, I'm just probably taking too much medication. But I'm really just trying to stick just with the regular stuff, just regular Tylenol and Advil. But it, it, thank you for asking. It's doing better. So I've had some really bad days, but today is a decent day. I hope. Here's the problem is that when I'm sitting down like this, and then I'm like a football player, I want to twist really fast to go get that rod. Boom, blown out. I'm, I know I. I know I'm not. I know I'm not a fish, a football player, but man, I want to just twist and get that rod. Sometimes I hurt myself. What time is it? Man, we're almost gonna be. I think an hour already. Y'all, 50 minutes already. Have you had? Um, no, it's gonna be a week from Friday, the, the, the 28th. So. Uh, a little over a week. Tomorrow I have my nurse slash doctor interview. The one it's, they said, we need you on the phone for an hour. It's an interview. I was like, what do you interview me for? It's, I guess they're gonna tell you the do's and don'ts and the risk and blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> if anything, I'm, what I'm afraid of, not that you wanna hear this, but it's just being exposed in other words where they put a breathing tube, I guess, to breathe free where they knock you out and I don't have my mask on. That's the only thing that scares me, being in the hospital. But I need my knee fixed. <clears throat> and you feel your chunky Stay off it. Um, DMV, I'm, I, they said to stay off it just for two or three days. They want me at physical therapy. In other words, walking into physical therapy on the third day. I need to have an appointment set. So they want you, they want you up and walking. They said when you leave the hospital, um, have someone drive you home. We're gonna give you a set of, of, of crutches. They said put as much pressure on, on your knee or your, whatever your leg as you can take. That, that's it. So no, they, they want you up and going. There's no downtime. So if they give me enough biking in, I might fish that same night. So <laughs> the 28th for Friday night, we'll be fishing. You'll be on one side of the river. I'll be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, it is cool. <clears throat> yes, blues. <laughs> Chad, that's <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna say it now. As long as you don't ask questions, <laughs> this is this is a joke, guys. All right, don't take sometimes you have to be careful what you say and you speak. Uh, as long as you're not gonna give me questions like Mr. Patriot, pa Patriot James, how we ask questions. Oh my goodness, this Monday, I, I mean, I, I wasn't the one being interviewed, Mr. Doc Lang, which I know that he had he had really bad internet connections. But just the way he puts those questions out there, oh man, it twisted. Check it out, my neck, my face can only twist this far like this. But my head went around twice trying to understand the question. And he asked a question, <laughs> I know you're kidding, and I'm kidding back at you too. <clears throat> he asked a question, he'll ask three questions, all, no, four questions all together in one, but then he'll answer it, partial answer it for you, and then he'll say, you agree. <laughs> <laughs> so all you say is like, uh-huh. <laughs> so, if you ask simple questions, we're good. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mr. Patriot. I know he's not here, but man, those questions he has, uh, it twists my head. My, my head. my head is still trying to twist back around. <clears throat> Going live, don't work. Ah, oh, you Oh, that would be awesome. Have the doctors, uh, they wouldn't, they probably wouldn't allow that for sure. <clears throat> All right, guys. I am going to end the show. Um, that that's that's it. Okay, Chad. Let's get our big questions ready. Woo! <laughs> I was gonna say it for tomorrow and <laughs> say that. But <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. That's what it's about, right? Uh, fishing here in Texas, Lake J. Thompson. You're fishing right now. Well, if you are, good luck. That's awesome. J.B. Thompson, and is that the lake? Uh, same doctor, do some, do some 
Have a good night, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Let me just, those who come in and want to see the wagon last time. Let me just turn this around. There's, there's the wagon. Let me trigger these, these balls one more time. We'll see if that gives effect or if it works or if it doesn't. If it doesn't, well, oh, you can see my, my net way over there. Look at that tape reflect right back at it. And then if you missed it um, really quickly, I have my eels. They're down there, my dead eels that I, when I, I always take two. One always dies because I don't need two. I, those are my frozen ones in there. My live ones are in there. I have an aerator. I think there's, I don't know, six in there or seven. And then I positioned, I made a little hole. My wife got so scared. She's like, didn't you get electrocuted when you made that hole? I don't know if you can see that. I made a little hole there for the aerator holes. And I just stuck that way up there on top. That's where I keep my eels. I think I, uh, I had a really hard, oh, you can see the, the rods right there. Showing this two more folks. Right there, guys. We're going to close the show right there. Everyone make sure to hit that, that Mr. Chad's link. I will be on their show tomorrow night. All right, guys. Saying good night. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Had a lot of fun. Thanks for all love and support. See you tomorrow on uh, Fishing with the Chad and, uh, and Mr. Dockery. Can't wait, Chad. Yes, it's going to be awesome. Night all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Austin Fishing. That's a question. But the, yes. Yeah, simple questions. <laughs> nothing hard. Nothing, no, nothing too difficult. All right, guys. Y'all are awesome. Crazy awesome. Maurice, you're awesome and amazing. I'm sorry I didn't say hi to you earlier. I'm sure you were here hanging back, but love every single one of you. Take care. See you tomorrow night.